Well, sometimes you need a break from creativity or, well, you need a break from the daily things you are doing to gain in creativity. Yesterday, Manuela and I we went to it, into an ice bar and, well, actually I got a nice idea and this is what I show to you. I made uh, an ice scoop or a handle for an ice scoop before, but this one here got an oval shape. So it might be easier to get the ice out of the out of the bucket. So follow me along in the next couple of minutes how I made this oval shaped handle, which is also good for other things uh, where you need control over the over over the axis here without slipping around. So enjoy the uh, next couple of minutes. Sometimes you need some hardware and I take this cheap thingy here from, well, I don't tell you where it is from, but it's no woodworker likes it. And as this is just a plastic handle, I just go ahead and heat this up, the metal. knobs and they have to go away. Okay, you have to get rid of these knobs here and in order to do so I use my rotary tool and a stone for the first part. Okay, this is it. These grooves will hold the, the, the glue when I finally glue this into the block here. Yeah. Like on every wood turning project you have to start by finding center. Next, I punch the center. And now for the oval part of it, I have to find two, uh, two points to turn the oval space. So I just take, well, suggested half the way of the maximum diameter. And a circle around so these are the two points I'll use for turning the oval part so in the end this will be the front of the and this will be the back. So for the next part I have to drill the 7 millimeter hole in here as I want to use that as the fixed point. Okay, for turning I mark these three holes which will become the uh, multiple axis for the oval shape of the back part of the handle and the front part of the handle got the big hole. This goes into the tailstock 
and for the headstock I'm using the center point now to turn this into round and like most of the turnings I'm doing I'm turning at 1700 rounds per minute handle like this should be eye-pleasing and uh, well you can see some angle over here at this point and I want to produce this and get this into into the same to the same angle as the part of this is almost the same angle check whether I like the transition here by inserting the, the hardware. Well, it's just a bit to take off here. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a, just a bit to take off there. Other than that, well, could be a finished handle. Seems, seems like this is it. Just checking last time. And the transition here is pretty nice. And as the transition here is pretty nice. Just a matter of a little of sanding. Okay, so I take this again out of the center the center point I'm use, I had been using to now up to one of these outer points which gives us a second axis. They all meet up here in the tip. Again not too much pressure as you don't want to get this off. So, put up your tool rest parallel to the bed and then you just watch how this turns and this turns nice. Okay, be careful. Now again on 1700 I start by just Going parallel with the with the steel. The tool rest is parallel to the to the lathe bed and I'm Go closer now, and now I turn away the same section, which is starting over here, ending up somewhere around here. Let's see how far I can go in. Cutting direction is over, and this as the the grain runs. So if you want to cut down the grain, but this is not something rain change direction and it's hard. I might sharpen the tool in a bit. While turning so you always have to watch the shavings as you end in the, in the shadow you can see how far you go in and don't take too aggressive bites. Okay, I hope this will work. Okay, now 
that I've finished this sanding down to 1500 and there is no finish on and I did that on center for the, the tip and for sanding away on the sides here as this grabs a little bit more comfortable having a small round over instead of uh, this crisp edge here <coughs> I go ahead and shape the end this is my sharp 10 millimeter spindle gouge and again using high speed on that see the point where you are cutting it's uh, mandatory to go in well ever once in a while to check where you are okay I see I made one mistake in the beginning the piece stopped and therefore the one point went off a little bit so this radius here and this radius here they are different as you can see here it's almost closed and over here it's it's wide so these the, the, the distance to the to the center is a little different so I might go in and well yes shape it a little bit more here and see what comes out of it ever once in a while I have to clear here or not getting a catch this way but I have to be careful not to clear away everything ensure that you don't grab this wing on here as you, you'll get a catch the whole handle is sanded down to uh, 1500 I cut away on this rest I don't cut that near this point as I do want to uh, try to shape it. Okay, that's it. Get the pressure off. Okay, I want to remove this using my sanding equipment I normally use for power sanding and I want to have that in the Jacobs checks so this is a 50 millimeter disc sander now and I don't have that many start on 60 grit working my way up to 320 do the rest with do the rest by hand and just see whether the platform work would work or not this is actually the platform sealer on just wipe it away yeah this is the 
had equivalent to a thousand five hundred grit sandpaper. I'll just it's a moment of truth. Enter the this looks great. So now I just have to see whether I can whether I have to well, I'll just line it with the oval shape here. This is a nice handle and you get control over uh, twisting it when you dig out the the ice. Thank you very much for watching and uh, well this ice cube is the first of uh, projects where we might uh, where I might interchange with Manuela. Our next big project will be the one for the 4th of July as we sat down in the in the ice bar and uh, had been talking about what to do we came up with a collaboration but this will be in two weeks time. Uh, but up to then, I'm, I'll show you a different project uh, I'll make in between. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and the next upcoming videos. If you'd like to support me, please head over to my homepage down in the description or somewhere around here later and uh, become a patron on Patreon or donate one-time things, uh, one-time money via PayPal or just drop me a line or send me some stuff what, where I can make some things out of. Okay, with that said, it's uh, again with greetings from Gödel, Germany, your Peter Freitag. Thank God it's Friday.